Hey everyone, it's Jessica. I just wanted to share a few ideas from teaching online, things I've used in the past for rewards to motivate your kids. So I'm gonna go through quite a few. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Uh, number one thing you will need is dry erase marker and a dry erase board because you can actually use that for so many things. Um, if you don't have dice at home, there's actually a dice app for free you can download and you can roll it when they do a good job and you can actually draw the pictures. It's okay if you can't draw. The kids actually think it's even funnier uh, when I mess them up. If you check on Q, there's actually um, a few of these free on Q. There is also a free gumball machine on Q. Uh, it may not look just like this one. I've used Velcro dots. So when they do a good job, they get one added. Um, kind of the same thing here. I took my kids gold coins, printed off something, added the Velcro dots. So they get a gold coin every time they do a great job. I'm going to add to this something that they also think is really fun is I would take Easter eggs, the whole Easter egg. Sorry, I can only find one. And I'll have two Easter eggs and I'll say, which color do you want, purple or pink? And the pink one might be empty and the purple one would have the gold coin. So then they win the gold coin. They always love it when they get to make choices um, and then see if they won or not. You can also just download images. So I just took a regular image, copy and pasted, found some cookies, copy and pasted, and um, again, use Velcro with these. But what do you do if you don't have Velcro? Maybe you have colorful paper and you can put numbers on them, alphabet letters. You can also use post-its if you had to. And then I just taped the top. And then this is a game we would play um, to see if they could get five stars. So they're looking for the star. So when they do a good job, I would say, great job, pick a number. Uh, maybe they pick seven and they want a star and I would draw it on my board. Or I also had taken magnets, random different magnets I had um, that would stick to, not this board, it sticks to my big board. Um, Anyway, so they would get the five stars, but you can also just draw them. So this is another one. Um, I just drew the star on this side. So I just took stickers I had at home and made a pirate one. And so they could pick a number and I'm like, oh, no star, sorry. You know, and they would have to do three more trials and they get to pick a new number. You got a star. And I would draw it on my board. Again, if you have Velcro, you can also have them choose a flavor that they want to add to an ice cream cone, build a hamburger. Um, maybe they love Legos and you can add, you can ask them which one they want and add that to a board and you just hold it up and show it to them. Maybe they're into princesses. You can also print off money and they could win money and you put it in an envelope or maybe you have some extra money lying around and they could count up the money they have and they could use it to buy something when we see them again in person. Or maybe they could use it to buy uh, a certain video. Like if they earn $5, then they get to watch a video clip at the end of your session. And you would just use your phone and hold your phone up. So a few other things I've done, if you're just working with things around the house, I would dress up goofy. And so each time they get um, maybe five questions right, I would let them pick which article of clothing I would put on. And so I have goofy sunglasses and scarves and uh, yeah, just the sillier the better. Hey, so I found where I hid all my eggs. So I would let them choose a big egg or a small egg. Of course I rated my kids um, toys. And so I have all kinds of Shopkins that I would put inside the eggs and let them pick which one they wanted and we would see what they got. Even that was fun. Um, you can do anything you have at home. You could hide them in different cups or little boxes. Um, if you have kids, there's all kinds of great things that you can steal from them. So I have purple houses and pink houses and we get to see who's inside. So it elicits great language. Um, so that would be more for some of the younger kids. And I definitely want to encourage you to go on cue. There's a lot of great build a scene activities where they could earn something to add to the scene. There's a lot of great token reinforcement activities. I know I've put at least 15 up there with like dinosaurs or, um, oh my goodness, different pets. And so there's all kinds of great token reinforcers on there uh, if you have access to a printer. And if not, um, you can even make your very own. You'll see if you look up, I think it's the snowman roll of dice on cue. 
Um, you could create something very similar. And again, all the kids really love to see my terrible drawings because I am not an artist. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'm happy to come up with some additional ideas or suggestions. Um, so I'm just here to help. Let me know. Thanks.